Four games left in the league. We're 11 points clear. So surely today's the day we're finally going to win the league. Surely we can't bottle it from here. Let's go and find out in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we have got episode number 34 of my Kingsland Walks to Prem save. And today is the biggest episode yet, because we are so, so close to winning the league. We have got four games left to do it. The plan for this episode is that I play up until we win the league. And you see every game it takes until we do win the league. So if it takes just one game, you're just getting the one game. If it takes two, then you get two, three, four. You get the drill. And we will do a special end of season episode on Sunday. Where we look back over this season. And we see who wins the player of the year awards. The team of the year awards. And we'll go and have a look at the players stats. And all of that good stuff. I know I've not done anything like that since the first episode. But yeah, we're really looking forward to doing that on Sunday. And so let's crack on. First bit of news is a little bit of transfer news. Uh, Terrell Whitaker. He's been at the club for three years. But he's a striker. So he obviously was competing with Adam Marriott for a starting place. He was never going to win that battle. He has gone to Maidstone, played 36 times for us, but only scored five times. So, yeah, very happy to get rid of him. He has gone. And now let's move on to the results since we was last together, which was for the Tamworth and the Blythe game. And you can see since the Blythe game, which you can see in the last episode, uh, we've beaten Stafford 3-0 and we have not lost a game since that Blythe game. So that's why we are so close to winning the league. Stafford, we beat them 3-0. Braintree, 0-0 draw there. And then we went on a very decent run for the next three. 2-0 versus Spennymore. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips with both of them. Really cannot wait to end the season. He might be the one I splunk all my money on to try and get. If we can get him full time, I would be over the moon in the summer. And then against FC United, 3-0 win. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips again, Marriott and Mundell. And then another 3-0 win versus Lowestoft. Diaz Wright and Marriott with a couple. And then I was starting to get a little bit nervy because we drew three games on the bounce. First up 2-2 against Telford. And then this mad game of football against Gateshead. We was 4-1 down. And we got it back to 4 all. And when we did get it back to 4 all, we had about half an hour, 25 minutes left. Something like that. And I was thinking that we was going to go ahead and win it. And we really should have. We was pushing and pushing and pushing. And it would have been one of my favourite results ever on FM if we had come back from 4-1 down to win it. But a 4-4 draw, I will take that. And then we had a nil-nil draw against Darlington. But then the last two games, Geisley beaten them 2-0, Marriott and Mundell. And then 4-0 win versus Aston United. Adam Marriott with a hat-trick to really seal the game for us. And so that leads us to where we are today. We have got South Seals, who are 7th in the league. And then, if needs be, we've got Kidderminster in third, Barrow in eighth, and Chester in second. So, oh, that's actually a lot tougher end to the season than what I realised it was. This might take a couple games, boys. This might take a couple games. And so, let's get into the team for today's game against South Shields. 
Let this be the one. Let us do it nice and early. We have got Herbin in goal. Haberjum at left back. Hopkins and Young are our centre back pairing. Crow is on the right hand side. Young, Hopkins and Haberjum are all on an over 7 rating for their last 5 games. Hopkins is on a 7.38. He is smashing it at the minute. And then in the midfield, it is our usual midfield. Embala, McCarthy, Simmons alongside McCarthy. Wright Phillips on the right hand side. Talking to someone killing it. Wright Phillips is on a 7.08 for his last five games. But a 7.37 for this season. And then up top, we have got Mundell and Marriott. Mundell is on a 7.5. For his last five. Marriott is on a 7.7. .7. So this is a really strong confident team. And I am indeed feeling confident for this game. Let's go and see what the bookmakers have to say. The bookmakers have us as big, big favourites for this game. We're 1-2 to two to win it. South Shields are 9-2 to two to win it. We have won two, drawn three of our last five. They have won three, lost two of their last five. And we have beaten South Shields four times in this save. And they've only beat us once. So everything looks like it's going our way. Surely today is the day. We're in the dressing room for what could be the first of four vital pre-match team talks. And let's go assertive with favourites for a reason. Most of them have gained confidence. I'm going to try and get the midfield looking a little bit better. We've got a reaction out of one more. And so, pre-match prediction time. You know what? Go big. We're going to have a party. 3-0. 3-0 to the Kingsland boys. Come on, you Linnets. Five minutes into the game, we've got a free kick. Haberjum has played it in, but it's got headed away. Goes to Young to Mundell with our first decent opportunity of the game. And that goes just wide. But from the resulting kickoff, Pilling has played the ball long. Their keeper goes to none. And their man's offside. Surely Allen was offside there. Apparently not. But now none loses the ball to our man Simmons. He's coming forward, goes out wide. That's a poor pass to Wright Phillips. And Allen's in. Allen is in behind our defence. He's gone for the shot. And Herbin with the save. But thankfully, that would have been offside anyhow. 15 minutes on the clock. And it's Crow to take the throw in for us. Goes to Mundell. Goes back to Crow. And he's going to play it over the top. Wright Phillips is onside here. He needs somebody in the middle. He's got nobody with him. So he's been forced to take the shot on and the keeper's saved it. And I think that's Adam Marriott that's put the ball wide from an absolutely gaping open goal. And now another goal kick, another long one from their keeper. Allen brings it down, goes back to their man Horton, who's on a yellow card on the left-hand side. Might want to think about trying to target him, try and get him sent off. As Simon gives the ball away there with a poor pass. And oh no, they're all over us. Tizard is in. And Tizard's shot is gone wide. Oh, almost half hour gone. Mbala with a corner ball. And their keeper picks it up out of midair. And now I'm guessing he's going to play this long. He's thrown it to the halfway line. Up to Tizard. And now can we win it back off him please? Nope, goes back to Little. Little by Little, he goes to Hayden. And now wide. Haberjum heads it away. But only as far as Tizard. But Mbala gets it back. And now come on Mbala. Play the ball in. No. He's lost it there. And it's all a little bit scrappy. It's all very non-league. That pass was not non-league though. The ball is in the box. And Allen with the shot is blocked there. Please don't let them take the lead. We need to get this ball away. And we do eventually. Lots of highlights in this first half. As South Seals with their throw in. Again, it's down our right hand side. Little with the ball. Or sorry, our left hand side, sorry. Haberjum with the ball. And now he goes back to Hopkins, who goes over the top. Marriott is in. If there's anybody who should shield a title for us, 
How has he missed that? How has he missed that one? That was the last highlight of the first half. And to be honest, we've not been playing that well. We've both had six shots. They've had one on target to our two. We've had two clear-cut chances. They've had more of the ball. Please don't let this be the start of a bottle job. Please. Let's go dressing room. I'm going to go assert if you've not been good enough. And that's got most of them fired up. Hopefully we can get a nice early goal in the second half. Calm some nerves. And then have a little bit of a party. So come on, start the second half. Just over 20 minutes left to go in the game. There's been no highlights in this second half. So we've just made a couple of changes. We're going attacking and we've brought on Dexter Waters for David Mbala. And the young Brazilian Bernardo Rosa comes on in place of Romain Mundell. I think, do, do we go longer passing? I think we go mixed passing, or slightly more direct, however they want to call it. And I think, leave it at that. Go higher line, why not? Let's go a higher defensive line, see if that can do anything. Come on, you Linets. Immediately after those subs, South Seals have got the ball. Hooten's cross is blocked there. And come on, come on, Rosa. It's the Brazilian coming forward with the ball. He's got Marriott ahead of him, and he's played it through. Marriott is onside. Marriott shoots, and it's saved there by Pillin. Oh, come on, boys. Now, who is it to take it? It's Habergem with the corner ball. Goes into the box. Their man, Horton, heads it away, but only as far as Young, whose cross is blocked there. And I think Allen's going to clear the ball here. No, he's not. They're on the counter. We could be in trouble here. That higher defensive line could have been a mistake. And oh no, that tackle there from Young was a mistake. But thankfully, I think they might have been offside beforehand. And now here we go. All the highlights now. Habergem with the ball long goes to Marriott. And can Marriott find a teammate? He's tried to. He's gone to Wright Phillips. Wright Phillips is in. Can he square it? Come on, play it back. Why has he gone for the shot? Why? He could have squared it and would have been 1-0 up right now. None with the ball. Plays it inside to Patrick as the red and white army are on the counter attack. Thankfully, that fizzles out. Two, nothing but a corner ball. As it's going to be Patrick to take it. He crosses it in. And oh, no, get the ball away. Get the ball away, Wright Phillips. Oh, thank God for that. There, there is a goal coming in this game. I'm just not sure who for. As Patrick with the free kick and Allen heads it over. And you know what? I'm getting a little bit nervy. I'm going to pull our defensive line back down. But go for a higher line of engagement and see what that does. Just about seven minutes left. South Seals keeper has again played the ball long. McCarthy just headed it down to their man, Hooten, who goes out wide and little has it. And he's in a lot of space. The ball's been crossed in. Crow with an awful header there. It's gone to Patrick. To Baker and they've taken the lead. No. No. Oh, no. Ah, they, this, this, this wasn't in the plan, boys. This was not supposed to be the script for today. Oh, no, what is happening there? We've got a highlight from the resulting kickoff. Can we please get an equaliser? Somebody do something. Right, Phillips with the ball goes into Young. And that's a poor pass. Who on earth was that meant for? Use your eyes. But Young, at this time, he might have got it right at the second attempt. No, he hasn't. It's only gone to Pilling. And so, this is a long highlight. Please don't let them get a second goal. Please. Pilling with it. He goes long. Crow heads it away, but again, only as far as Hooten. Rosa wins it back. He needs to play the ball early. He, he hasn't. He's in the box. You're Brazilian. Remember that, Rosa. You're supposed to be better than that, mate. Minute and a half left in extra time. And South Seals' corner has come into the box again. 
It goes to Nunn, who only plays it, to Walters, who, who intercepts. And now Marriott. Marriott is all alone. He's played it wide. Two right Phillips. Who's in the box? He's in. Can he get the equaliser? That was awful. That was genuinely terrible, DiMaggio. Ah, oh, this has got all the hallmarks of a bottle job. Surely not again. Surely not again. 30 seconds left now. Crow to Rosa. Back to Crow. He plays it long. And Marriott. Come on, Marriott. Oh, he's lost the ball there, but he's got it back at the second attempt. No, he hasn't. He was offside. Too many offsides in this game. Seven offsides we've had. Seven. Well, you're getting at least one more game, boys and girls. That's the good thing. But the bad thing was our performance. 15 shots apiece. Five on target apiece. Four clear-cut chances we had. 47% of the possession. How we've lost that game. I don't believe this. Let's go dressing room. Let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. Uh, that wasn't good enough. Most of them are fired up. Most of them are motivated. And okay, boys. I'll be back with you in a second for the second game in this episode. Okay, guys. We are back. We've got exactly the same team as the last game. So we're going straight into what the bookmakers are saying. They again have made us favourites. 4-5 to five to win the game. Kidderminster are 3-1. to one. We've beaten Kidderminster five times in this series. They've beaten us four. There's never been a draw. So the odds and history tells us there will more than likely be a winner today. Please let it be us. You can see down there in the league table, we now only have an eight-point advantage. So still, if we win the game today, we do win the league. So please let us do it. Please. Okay, we're in the dressing room. And absolutely no opposition instructions, of course, by the assistant. I'm going to say, I don't know. What do we say? I don't want to put any more pressure on the lads than usual. Uh, I'm going to say, oh, no, what? I'm going to have to go for it. No, I'm not going to say it for the fans. Uh, come on, lads. The title will be ours if we manage a win. This feels wrong. Oh, I like that reaction. I like that reaction a lot. Now, prediction time. 2-1 us. 2-1 to us. We get the title today. That's what I'm thinking. Come on, you Linets. 13 minutes into the game, Kidderminster with a corner ball and the header from Johnson thankfully only finds the top of the net. And now immediately after, we've got to throw in Haberjum to Mundell, back to Haberjum, who goes to McCarthy. Haberjum, McCarthy, he almost gave the ball away there, but he gets it to Simmons, who plays it back to McCarthy. And now Simmons, McCarthy. Come on, play it to somebody else. There are more than you two on this pitch. And that's a poor pass there from McCarthy. Right, Phillips unable to get onto it. But thankfully, Haberjum with the interception goes back to Herbin. And we are looking nervy here. We are not looking the free-flowing selves. We have been of late. And Kidderminster with a shot. And Herbin with a save. But again, that was offside. 25 minutes on the clock. Crow with the throw in goes to Mundell. Crow, can he find somebody? Just goes back to our defence. Young plays it out wide. Can our man get onto it? No, he can't. Why are we not playing the good football we have been playing of late? Chima with the ball and Jolly nods it on, but Hopkins collects it there. Back to our man, Herbin. And now I think he's going to play it out wide. Yes, he does. Goes to Herbergium. And now, what can he do? Goes out wide. Embala has it. Embala is into the box. Come on, Embala. Goes for the sun. We are leading. Yes. Come on. Come on, Embala. With his seventh 
of the season. If anybody's going to secure us the title, it should be Mbala or Marriott. My two favourite players in this team by a quite a way. And Mbala got the ball there, got past the defence and then coolly slotted it past the keeper. As things stand, we are champions, champions, oh yay, oh yay, oh yay. A couple of minutes later, right, Phillips with the ball now and he's been fouled there and Johnson is off. Yes, Kiedemünster are down to 10 men and we surely, surely are not throwing the game away from here. 35 minutes on the clock now. Simmons, T. Young, to McCarthy. Mundell with the ball. Goes to the goal scorer, David Mbala. And now, can he play it wide? Nope. Goes to Simmons, to Mundell. And now Mundell out wide. Right, Phillips is in the box. Can he get this into the back of the net? Yes, he can. DiMaggio, right, Phillips makes it 2-0 to the Kingsland, boys. We are champions. Champions. Yes, come on, let's have another look at this. It was quite similar to the Mbala goal, where he cut in from his wing and then played it, slotted it nicely into the back of the net. How many can we get now? We're going to have quite a party now, aren't we boys? 45 minutes away now from the league title. Kidderminster have had 8 shots, the same as us. We've had six to their four. We've only had the one clear-cut chance. And we've had 56% of the ball. More importantly, we are 2-0 up. Let's go into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. I'm very pleased with your performance. Keep it going, boys. And everybody's delighted. And now let's go and start the second half. Come on, three more? That would be quite nice. Okay, 25 minutes just about left to go. We've just made a couple more changes. There's been no highlights yet in this second half. Uh, the youngster Ewan Murray has come on and Bernardo Rosa as well. Hopefully Rosa can have a better game than what he had in the first game in this episode. And now let's go. Come on, at least one more goal. I'll, uh, I'll settle for that now. Come on. 20 minutes left now. Mbala with a corner ball. And Marriott's header has gone wide. 10 seconds left of normal time. Kidderminster with a shot there off the free kick. But thankfully that goes wide. And now 30 seconds left of the game. Young to Crow to Young. Can we just keep the ball now? And can we please get the highlight we're all waiting to see after the game. Right, Phillips with the ball. Tries to play it in, but it gets blocked. And now Butterfield plays it forward. Goes to Aina. Now 10 seconds left. Come on, referee. Just blow your whistle. Simmons has given away a free kick. That's going to allow Kidderminster one last kick of the game. And come on, referee. Blow your whistle. Blow it, blow it, blow it, blow it, blow it. Come on, referee. If I could whistle, I would be whistling my head off right about now. There it is, lads. Look at that. Yes. Finally, five seasons later, we have done it, boys. Champions. We are the champion. Now let's get on a little bit of the bubble air. Yes. There we go, boys. 2-0 win. 14 shots to their 12. 7 on target to their 5. 58% of their possession. We are champions. Let's get into the dressing room. And now let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. Congratulations, boys. These are the moments we're living for. Everybody's happy. Yes. And that is where we are going to leave it for today, guys. Please, if you've enjoyed that video, if, if you've enjoyed this season, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content, more Pro Evo 20 content, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and check out the rest of of the passion for fm lads all their details are down below 
and check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter and Facebook, all that good stuff. Again, deets are all down below, check it all out and I am going to go now and party all night because we are champions.